Do you feel as though people have become too complacent? Well, good morning. And I'm not sure that's across the board, but certainly there's been some big money flows into some of last year's losers. And it almost feels like there's a rush to get ahead of the Fed. And that's what I think those comments are alluding to. And, and that's what I agree with. I think people need to realize that the Fed has not taken their foot off the 2% target. You don't want to fight the Fed. The Fed is going to continue to raise or at least keep a tightening mode. And against that backdrop, speculation and over being overconfident about stocks is a potential risk for investors. All right. So, Mark, uh, this this volatility index, the VIX, it kind of tracks the level of volatility for the S&P 500. It's, set, it's now sitting, it closed yesterday below 20. It's 19 and change at this point. What that does represent is near the lowest levels over the course of the past year. Does that in any way make you feel uncomfortable about what's happening in the market right now? Well, it's interesting because in a bear market, when the VIX gets close to 20, it's actually been a sell signal. If you look at last year's charts, whenever we had confidence or complacency and the VIX lowering into this 20 range, it was a really good time to sell and take some of those interim profits from the bear market bounces. So it's really difficult to say this is this is the bottom and the VIX is right. Uh, but I don't think that's the case right now. I think we have a few more shakeouts to go. And until we get clarity, until we get a real drop in inflation, we're a mile away from that 2% number. And until we get language out of the Fed that isn't hawkish, they've all been hawkish. I think the, the VIX is a contra indicator, and that's how I would look at it. All right. So if that's the case, take us through what your thinking is right now with regard to the outlook. Is, is this a time now where you raise money, you raise cash, you, you, you sit still? How is the bond market looking? We've got interest rates that are maybe relatively attractive to what they have been historically over, the, say, the last 10 years. What exactly is the strategy from your standpoint? Well, if your baseline is a continued Fed tightening and a modest recession, if any, which is our baseline, we still want to invest in, in stocks and we still want to invest in quality stocks, not that speculation stuff that we saw last year blow up. I know there's been a little run at it, but that's not where I'd want to be. And the bond side, as you mentioned, is very interesting. You can get some reasonably high quality uh, corporates. You can get the, low, the, the higher end of um, high yield bonds, triple B, single A bonds. You can get a nice return on that, maybe get some capital appreciation later in the year and get a little less risk than stocks and finally have some bonds in your portfolio that actually serve that classic role of diversification. So if you want a mid, higher level single digit return with potentially lower volatility, bonds are again a conversation that investors could have. So we we believe in broader diversification and we think the 6040 portfolio's death has been prematurely announced and we would be encouraging balanced long-term investors to look at some places in the bond market.